Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sabine and welcome to another tasty edition of Feasting on Agriculture. As you can see, we're here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel, located right here in downtown Baton Rouge. And this place combines all the things that I love, craft cocktails, local brew, and of course, farm to table. Joining us now is Chef Sean Pooch Rivera, co-owner here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel. Sean, tell the folks about the concept here at this beautiful, beautiful building. Well, we, we uh, pride ourselves on staying local. We have over 70% of our uh, spirits and craft beer are locally produced in Louisiana. And we, uh, when possible, we try to use the sustainable farming uh, solutions here in Baton Rouge as far as our products that we use in the kitchen. Why did you guys decide to go farm to table and keep everything local here in Louisiana? We thought that Baton Rouge needed to uh, kind of step up to the times, I would say, and uh, we wanted to be the pioneers. You know, people go to Lafayette, people go to New Orleans to try new things, and we wanted to be the ones to do it here in Baton Rouge first. Awesome, and speaking of stepping up, what are we stepping into today? Today we have a uh, Iverstein Farm burger patty, the, we have a T-Moy's Farm bacon jam, and we have a house-made pimento cheese to all create a off-the-menu item called the Bad Mama Jam. Named after me. Let's go get in the kitchen. Let's do it. All right, right now we're in Sean Booch Rivera's kitchen here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel. Oh, we're underneath the hood. That's why it sounds like a jet is taking off. Sean, take it away. Today we're going to showcase some Louisiana grass-fed beef from Iverstein Farms. We love to use local. We love to work with local. It's a beautiful, beautiful beef that was fresh ground yesterday. Tell us why you chose to go with Iverstein Farms. Iverstein is somebody who's been dedicated to Baton Rouge and really showcasing local, sustainable farming. And I mean, at the end of the day, like, no, Baton Rouge is not going to be able to be the next level of a culinary destination unless we support people who are willing to support the chefs and support local culinary. I'm actually just going to start with some salt and pepper. That's all you need to do. There's no reason to go ahead and do anything other than that. The beef speaks for itself. It's an 80-20 blend, short rib, sirloin, and chuck. One of the things we like to do here at Driftwood is do things off the menu. We use some Timo's farm, Timo Farms out of Sunset, Louisiana. We use their bacon, we make a bacon jam, and we make our own pimento cheese here. So uh, it's pimento cheese, bacon jam, and some Iverstein Farms. Man, I cannot wait to taste this bad mamma jamma. Because if it's anything like this bad mamma jamma, I know it's going to be just as fine as he can be. That's right. <laughs> Tell me about this enterprise that you guys, you and Matt have created, the Driftwood Cask and Barrel. Uh, not just Matt, uh, business partner Carla Carly, um, Matt and I, we, we, we came together, kind of a dream team scenario. We have some investors that came to us. They knew that we were all, bet, uh, you know, aspiring to be the best in our crafts, whether it be craft beer, craft cocktail, or food. And uh, we came together to start Driftwood Cask and Barrel. It kind of pioneered some different things in, in Baton Rouge and downtown Baton Rouge. It bring a good presence to Dr. St. Capital. What kind of bun are you going to put with this uh, hamburger? We are using a brioche bun. Brioche, is that Spanish? Brioche, is that French? You're... What the? How much longer you got on this? That, honestly, we can pull off right now. All right, folks. Let it rest for, rest, if we let it rest right now, it'll get to about medium rare medium. OK, go ahead, do, work your magic, bro. All right, folks. Sean Pooch Rivera here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel has made his bad mamma jamma. When we get back, we get to taste this tasty, tasty burger. Stick around, we'll be right back. Thank you so much for sticking around, folks. Again, the wonderful and amazing Sean Pooch Rivera, co-owner, manager, all around good guy here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel down on 3rd Street here in Baton Rouge. This is the Bad Mama Jamma. Tell folks what's on this hamburger in case they missed it. This is some uh, Iverstein 80-20 ground chuck, uh, sirloin and mm -hmm. short rib, some house-made pimento cheese, mm -hmm. T-Moy's Farms, uh, bacon jam, mm -hmm. and a brioche mm -hmm. bun. Very simple, yet bold as hell. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful, beautiful hamburger. And uh, cocktail specials. We have a great happy hour. We're open till 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Mm. And we would love for you to come and see us, please. Thank you. Mm. Oh, pretty fire, huh? 
folks, if you want a, an answer to the age-old question, where's the beef? It's right here at Driftwood Cask and Barrel. That is amazing. Thank you, sir. Folks at home or wherever you are, if you're on your mobile device, if you guys want information about Driftwood Cask and Barrel, Louisiana beef, you can always go to our website at twilighttv.org. Now, while I've had some of this wonderful, remarkable bad man pajama, I've got to taste this fashionable. Oh, nibbler. Pinky up. Mm. Pinky up. Sir. Mm. Pinky up. Yeah, you're right Very about good. that. That's, that's, you're right about that. Mm. Man, you can't get full here at Driftwood. Something's wrong with you. Oh, thank you so much, Sean Puchero. Mi hermano. Mi hermano. Muchas gracias. Uh, what a wonderful time. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. That's all from Driftwood Cask and Barrel. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs>